I'm Amy from Eastfairs and in this video I'll be showing you what to check for if your Dyson Big Ball Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner isn't picking up properly. Now safety first, always make sure you switch off and unplug your vacuum cleaner before you start taking it apart or carrying out any checks or fixes. If your Dyson Vacuum Cleaner isn't picking up dust and debris, the first thing you'll want to check is the bin. If the bin is full past the maximum capacity marker, you'll need to empty it to get your vacuum cleaner picking up properly again. To empty the bin, first you'll need to remove it from the main body and you can do that by pressing the red button on the handle, lifting the bin away, then over a dustbin, if you press down on the red catch and pull the handle as you do so, the lid will open. You can also clean the inside of your bin to be extra thorough. To do this, pull the silver catch behind the red release button, then slide clear the bin of the cyclone. When cleaning the bin, only use cold water and a cloth. Don't use hot water, cleaning products or any kind of appliance such as a dishwasher or washing machine as this could damage the bin. Before you replace the bin, it's also worth checking if the cyclone needs a clean, as a dusty cyclone can affect your vacuum's performance. It's easy to clean your vacuum bin and the cyclone at the same time as they're connected as one single unit. When cleaning the cyclone, don't use any water as this could cause damage. Instead, just use a soft bristle brush to wipe away any dust, debris and dirt. Finally, before you replace the bin, make sure that it's completely dry first and then just slide it back into place until you hear a click. If the bin isn't the problem, then you'll want to check where else the problem might be coming from. To do this, remove the hose and test the vacuum suction without it. If the vacuum still isn't picking up properly, then it could be a problem with the filter being either damaged or dirty. But if it is picking up properly, then it's likely there's a problem with the wand, the hose, or there's damage to the floor tool. First of all, you're going to want to take the filter out of the vacuum cleaner. The filter can be found at the top of the dustbin, so you're going to need to remove this unit first. You can do this by pressing the red button at the top of the handle and pulling the unit away. You can access the filter by opening up the lid where the handle is. Then proceed to carefully pull the filter out. To wash the filter, rinse it under a cold tap through the open end until the water runs clear. When washing your filter, it's important that you don't use any cleaning products or appliances such as a washing machine or dishwasher as these can damage the filter. Once you've washed the filter, squeeze and rinse it thoroughly with both hands before leaving it to dry naturally for 24 hours. Make sure it's completely dry before refitting it. Again, don't use any appliances such as a tumble dryer, oven or a hair dryer to speed up the drying process as this could damage your filter. To refit the new filter, simply slot it back into place at the top of the dustbin, close the lid and then reattach the unit to your vacuum cleaner. Remember, it's important to clean your filters once a month to keep your vacuum cleaner working efficiently. If your filter is not just dirty but damaged, you will need to get a replacement one. So we'll link down below or in the description where you can get your hands on a new one. If the problem doesn't lie in the filter or the cyclone, then you're going to want to check the wand and the hose. And to do so, you'll need to disconnect the hose from the vacuum if you haven't already done so. Then you can separate the wand from the handle and the handle from the hose. So that all three bits are disconnected. This will allow you to look into every part to see where the blockage is. Look inside each part and the areas they connect to for any blockages. This includes the hose and the handle, as well as the hole where the hose connects to the vacuum, and the holes where the cyclone bin unit and the vacuum cleaner connect to each other, as well as the wand. If there are any blockages, remove them. Some blockages you can remove by hand, whereas others can be a little bit trickier to reach. If you have a blocked item in, say, the wand or the hose, then you can either use an item or a tool such as an unraveled coat hanger or a long screwdriver to try and get it out. Just be sure not to damage the part in the process. If there are no blockages, you'll want to check the hose for any rips, tears, holes or signs of damage. Any signs of damage may cause a loss of suction, so if there is any, you'll want to replace the entire hose. 
We'll link down below in the description where you can buy a replacement hose off our website. If your vacuum cleaner's suction still isn't up to scratch, then you'll want to check the head. The head keeps the brush bar contained as it spins, but if it's damaged, it will prevent the brush bar from doing its job properly. Disconnect the head and check for any signs of damage, such as cracks and loose parts. If your brush bar is damaged, you will need to replace it. And as for the other parts mentioned in this video, we'll include a link to a new vacuum cleaner head on our online shop down below. If your vacuum cleaner head isn't damaged, then the issue may be that the brush bar is blocked. So to check this, you'll need to remove the brush bar. Using a coin or a flathead screwdriver, unscrew the small end cap on the side of the head, then remove the brush bar. And you can check for any blockages such as hair or string that might be wrapped around. And if you find any debris, you can remove it by hand. And once you've finished checking the brush bar, you can return it in by sliding it back into the head. Then screw the small panel back into the side of the head. And there you have it, how to get your Dyson Big Ball Cylinder Vacuum Cleaner picking up again. Hopefully now it's working as it should. Whilst you're here, you can also check out our video on safety checks for your vacuum cleaner. And before you go, make sure to subscribe to our channel for plenty more appliance repair and maintenance videos. Thanks for watching.